Praise the Lord. I hope all of you are doing good. Today, I want to meditate on Acts chapter 7 verse 60. Let me read it for you. And he knelt down, cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Today I want to meditate. Stephen was a failure. Why did I say that? Why did I even bring that topic? Stephen was stoned at the age of 29. Stephen knew the Bible so well. Acts 7, what he says from the Bible. I don't think there is anybody in, in the characters of the Bible who knew the word of God so well. He was amazingly used by God. He went and did a confrontation with the people, with the religious leaders at that time. He didn't start it, though they started it. He pointed his finger at them and told the truth, which anyway we would have thought, why should you tell it to them? Anyway, they are not going to change. But Stephen did that and he was stoned. Everything gone. And the next verse is, persecution broke out just after that because they got so bold. Was oh, he? Think. In the worldly sense, we think it's a failure. But few things I want to talk. One, what is your value system? After 2000 years, we don't remember who stoned him, right? But even today, while we talk, our lives are changed because of Stephen. God knows how to use. Our economy is not God's economy. It is very different. God knows what to do. Stephen saw Jesus standing. So what we think what is important, what we lose in this world is not what is really important. Number two, at the age of 29, this man knew the word thus much. So clear. You read it, you got a complete overview of the Old Testament. And that was so clear. He knew what was happening at any every time. So close to the word of God. Third, he had only one intention to please God. Trust me, when your intention is to please God, rest everything in life will look like rubbish. That's what Paul said. I consider everything rubbish. Remember what I'm telling. When we think things of the world is important, you're possessions, your car, your job is important. That's a time where we get into depression, you know, fear, value system, all those things. Oh, Stephen knew what was important. So three things I said. It was not a failure. Because even today, his life is speaking to us. That's this part of eternity. Think of the other side. What is Stephen going through now? Wow. Heaven will be talking about it, right? Jesus standing, Stephen, my great servant, eternity itself is having a rejoicing time with Stephen. And this side of the eternity also, we are being blessed by his life because this man's value system was right, number one. Number two, he knew the word of God deeply. Number three, his intention was only one thing. Please, my God. God bless you.